Well, obviously disappointed. Um, you know, first half, uh, offensively, I thought we did some good things and kept us in the game. And um, second half, you know, we couldn't stop the edges of the run game defensively. Uh, they did some good things. You got to give them credit offensively. Did a lot of different things that we've seen. And, and uh, we adjusted as we went and didn't do a good job, you know, getting the players to understand the adjustments. And we have to own that first and foremost as coaches. And players have to be able to take the coaching like we've done. I thought we did a really good job of that in the first two games and just weren't ourselves in that football game. Um, you know, the blocked punt was a, a major mistake. Uh, had a mental error on that play. Obviously, um, trying to play catch up from that point on and weren't throwing the football well enough to do that, you know, particularly when you look at 5 of 17 on third down. But did some good things early. And, and uh, you know, when you give up 200 yards rushing, it's hard to win a football game. And that's not who we are, and that's not what we can be. And certainly won't let this game define us, but got to own it as a staff first, and our players got to do the same, and we got to get back and fix it. Questions? Coach, can you talk about the difficulties being held out of the end zone in the second half? Yeah, I mean, it's just a multitude of things, you know, whether it was dropped passes or batted balls. They did a good job getting their hands up a few times when we had guys open. And um, they adjusted. You know, we ran the ball very effectively in the first half into the boundary, and they adjusted and, you know, just couldn't get it going in the second half. And, you know, when you're going to watch the film, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of guys missing blocks. I'm sure we're going to see them blocking us, you know. I just thought – in the trenches, which is where we've been good, we were not good today. Dave, you mentioned the run defense. What did you think the biggest problem, just in terms of getting pressure on and didn't say that you were to get some? The edges, you know, I mean, they were running, whether it was a jet or whether it was a stretch play, they were running edge plays on our defense. And several times, particularly early, there were RPO plays where they had posts behind them. And so they put you in a, you know, deal where your DB's got to make some plays and you're having to come up out of zone coverage and set edges, and sometimes we did. A couple times they cracked our edge and we didn't replace it very well. But um, they were putting, like I said, their formations into the boundary in the second half and pinning our backer and getting around it. But you know, they did a good job. Those were plays they hadn't run, we hadn't practiced, you know, and didn't do a good job adjusting to them. And that's the biggest thing, you know, you have to be able to adjust throughout the game and get things that you didn't practice. And, Something we got to get a lot better at, obviously. You talked during the week about the young players and handling adversity and handling the hostile uh, environment. Uh, how do you think uh, they did that, especially Matthew today? You know, Matt did some good things. I mean, we had nine penalties, which is out of character for us, and too many. And some of that is the noise. You know, I mean, the first play of the game, we're not ready to play. You know, and come off the sideline and have to delay a game. So I mean, there are some things that we definitely have to do better from that standpoint. Um, I didn't think Matt played rattled. Uh, he was pretty calm on the sideline, and he did some good things. Um, a lot of things he's got to do better, obviously. They gave you some opportunities with a couple of major penalties yeah. in the intersection, and, and you weren't really able to take full advantage of that. How disappointing was that? Yeah, I mean, back to back field goals. Uh, obviously, touchdowns there would have made it a different football game. You mentioned when you made your decision about the quarterback that you'd give. The starters, some leeway. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one game. I understand that. But just from your perspective, how will you kind of go through that evaluation process? Well, it mean, feels like the most important thing this year is to get that quarterback position right. It always is. I mean, from Pop Warner to NFL, a position is going to be the position. You know, and I think for me to sit here and say I know where I'm at with it without watching the film, I couldn't do that. I mean, there's a lot of things that happen out there that are out of Matt's control. You know, we got to look at that. And that's. You know, guys dropping passes or not running around at the right depth. And there's a third down where our tight end's supposed to stop and he keeps running. So Matt throws it incomplete. Everyone looks at Matt like he's throwing a bad ball. Well, the guy's got to run the right route for him. So there's a lot of things we got to do better. And it's easy to point the blame at me, and I'll take it. It's easy to point the blame at the quarterback. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people involved, and we all got to own it. Seems like West Virginia early on made a point to hit hard, even some flags on some of those hits. Did, did, it, did you sense how you sent your kids handle the physicality of it? Well, look, I told them, I said, they got embarrassed last week in Missouri. You're going to get their best. I mean, they're going to be disappointed in what they put on tape a week ago, and they're going to come home and not want to show that to their fan base. And I knew that was coming. I told them that was coming. Um, so, you know, give them credit. They bounced back and showed up, and we didn't do a good enough job. Thank you.